It's Video Friday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget with George E. Harrison. As always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this pho photographic journey. And as you know, I'm really into night photography. When I mean say night photography, I don't mean the golden hour right before, right after sunset. I'm talking about between maybe 9 or 10 at night to 2 or 3 in the morning. When the traffic is a dad down, not only a few people on the street, just you and the buildings and your thoughts. Well, I've been showing you some of these pictures, so now I'm going to show you how I create these pictures with the help of Corel, you know, multiple exposure techniques on, on the computer. So let's get to it and get to the computer. We're going to start off with these four pictures I took of the farmer's market, picked the Ashbury's farmer market pictures I showed you on Monday. This is picture number one where I exposed for the street lights. Picture number two where I put, uh, exposed for some of the flowers and some of the things around the farmer's market. Pictures number three where you can see the street signs. And picture number four where you can see the streak of light and some of the other fine detail in the flowers and buildings behind them. I merged all these four together, these four pictures right here, and this is the shot we ended up with from the farmer's market that I showed you on Tuesday. Picture number two, two this is three pictures I took of Walgreens on uh, you know, Feather Street. You pass it all the time, but it looks totally different at night. This is picture number one where I exposed for the lights, the outside lights. Picture number two, I exposed for the inside lights inside the store. Picture number three, I exposed for you know, the ground, the street, and everything around the building. Then when you merge them together, that's what you get. This is your composite where everything looks good. You can read the signs, the lights are not overexposed. You can see detail in the windows, things inside the store, and you see the ground fine. And we got one more picture here. And this is actually Mid Midtown uh, Express on uh, Salisbury Street. I took three pictures here. This is picture number one, so I want to have a good shot of the sign and, and outside, outside lights. Picture number two, so you see detail, more detail in the pumps in the surrounding area. And picture number three with a lot with slower exposure so I can get these uh, highlights from cars driving by. But, when you, but you see, this is overexposed, but when you merge all three pictures together, these are all three pictures, and when you merge them all together, this is what you get. You know, the lights are fine, they're not overexposed, you can read the signs, you know, really well. And if, if, you, if you zoom in, you can see, you, you can read everything in the window. And that's pretty much how I do my exposures. These are only three shots each, but some have used as much as five or six or seven shots. Well, what did you think? I'm open for your comments, good, bad, or indifferent, just leave something in the comment section. If you're watching this on Facebook, you know, put it in the comment section. And also, if you're watching it on YouTube, put it in the comment section. But the only way we can get better, we get input from everyone, because like I said, no one knows everything about photography, so I'm always open for new ideas and new techniques. And also, if, you, if you're into night photography like me, it doesn't have to be as late as 9 or 10, 11 or 2 in the morning like I like going out. And you want to collaborate with, somebody, with someone to watch your back? Like sometimes I convince my wife to go out, but you know, sometimes she gets a little mad with me because she said, I'm out there too long and I wait too late to go out. So if you want someone to go out with, to co collaborate with and have watch your back while you take pictures and you watch mine while I take pictures, or we can take pictures together and share ideas off each other, you know, hit me up, put, leave something in the comment. And as always, you know, I like to leave you with an inspiration, a thought. I always take from an old school song. And today, we're going to talk about the Hollies. You know, they have a song called it's a Long Cool Lady in a Black Dress. Well, you know she's out there. So pick up your camera, go on out there and photograph her. And I'll see you Tuesday.